We're pressing forward despite the enemy trying to hold us back from our past, trying to hold us back in our old mindset, trying to hold us back in past disappointment, trying to hold us back in unforgiveness, trying to hold us back in past failures and disappointments but God wants us to press forward he know you messed up he knew you was gonna mess up but God says I got it this is a new day this is a day the Lord has made we will continue to rejoice and be glad in it Hello everyone, my name is Richard Dobbs. I'm pastor of Overcomers Christian Center. If you're ever in the Billerook area, come join us on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock a.m. or on Wednesday evenings at 7 o'clock p.m. We'd love to have you at a live service. Today I want to come to you from the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and verse 14. The book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and verse 14. 14, which reads as follows, brother, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Based on that, I want to talk to you from this topic. Is my mindset ready to move forward? That's right. I'm asking myself, I'm asking you, is our mindset ready to move forward? Forward. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we're so grateful for your word, and we pray that the word of God will minister to your people. And Father, we ask you to uh, forgive us for everything we've done wrong, and we pray as well, Father, you will help us to have the proper mindset to move forward to accomplish the will of God for our lives. And we thank you, God, for your anointing. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. And pray, pray for these next few minutes, our minds will be focused in on what the Spirit of God is saying into our lives. We love you, Father, and give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, and thank you, Lord. Memory is can be defined as the process by which we store information and have the ability, ability to recall that information at a later time or when needed. Mindset can be defined as an established set of attitudes held by someone, also a mental disposition, attitude, or inclination toward a particular matter. Our memory is often impacted by how we learn information, retain or hold on to that information, recall and recognize that particular information. In my experience, I found that there are moments from my past when stirred up emotionally can bring back feelings to the surface, all attached to a memory. And sometimes we can get stuck in the past. We can get stuck in our memories. We can get stuck and not move forward the way God wants us to. I don't know about you, but I can remember the time I was stuck in a vehicle and, and I was stuck in the mud and I couldn't move forward. I wanted to move forward. I tried to move forward. I, I tried rocking the car back and forth, got frustrated, got angry, got unfrustrated again until finally I called for help. I realized I could not get out of the situation that I was in. And sometimes you got to call for help. You got to call on Jesus to help you get unstuck from the areas of your life that cause you not to move forward in the things of God. Cause you not to fulfill the will of God for your life. Cause you not to walk in your destiny that is so much greater than what you're currently dealing with. Stick, stuck suggests sometimes we're not moving. We're in a certain place and we know we need to move forward, but we can't get to our destination. We can't get to our goal. We can't get to the place where we, we can fulfill our purpose. In fact, let's look at the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. The Bible says again, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which 
which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forget it. I'm going to no longer care for, I'm no longer going to let this hold me back. Those things which are behind me, those things in the rear of me, but I'm going to reach forward. I'm going to stretch out. I'm going to stretch forward to those things which are ahead. In other words, I, the enemy is trying to get me stuck in the past, get me stuck in my feelings, get me stuck in what they said to me when I was in high school, when I was uh, dated somebody else, when I was at an old job, when I was doing things I shouldn't be doing. He tries to get me stuck in my past, but I'm going to forget those things. I'm going to let those things go. I'm going to process. And listen, I might have made a mistake yesterday, but I'm going to ask God to forgive me. I'm going to ask God to have mercy upon my soul. Soul, and I want to move forward. I want to I want to move forward. Why? Because God has a destiny for us. God has a purpose for us. And only you can fulfill your own personal destiny. Only you can fulfill what God has called for you to do. And I know God's going to help us. So therefore, we need the proper mindset to move forward. Mindset number one, forget those things which are behind. Let go of the past, especially those things will cause us to be insecure, <clears throat> bitter and pessimistic pessimistic. The things that hinder us from getting along and establishing positive and productive relationships, let them go. Not only let them go, let go of the feeling that's associated with those past memories. Sometimes we get upset by thinking about something that happened in the past, we have to learn how to let it go. Let go of the memories that cause us to have the mindset, they don't like me, they're not treating me right. It's just like it always been. Let me say it to you. Sometimes it don't matter what people think about you, and the only time you hold it on to it is in your mind. And you have to learn how to let it go. Oh, that's right. My sister and my brother, let it go. Let go of that past relationship. Let go of that person that treated you wrong. Let go of that person that didn't do the way you thought they should do. Let go of that old job. Let go of that old business. Let go of that old failure. <clears throat> Let it go and press forward. God has something greater for you. God has something better for you. God has something that's going to change your life and make it better. And it says, let's go to on to the things we got to press forward. Mindset number two, we're reaching forward to those things which are ahead. We must continue to learn how to reach forward, even when it stretches how we think, stretches how we make decisions, and stretches how we respond to things. Stretching one sense means I'm going to be pulled to become wider, longer, bigger, better, but I will not break. You're stretching me, but I won't break. You're stretching me, God. You're causing me to press in forward. You're causing me to study more. You're causing me to love more. You're causing me to give more. You're stretching me, God, but I won't break and I will become better. I press. I make the effort. I run after the goal, the markers, the indicators, like Philippians 3 and 14 tells us. I press toward the goal for the prize of the the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Our mindset is pressing forward. We're pressing forward despite the enemy trying to hold us back from our past, trying to hold us back in our old mindset, trying to hold us back in past disappointment, trying to hold us back in unforgiveness, trying to hold us back in past failures and disappointments. But God wants us to press forward. He know you messed up. He knew you was going to mess up. But God says, I got it. This is a new day. This is a day the Lord has made. We will continue to rejoice and be glad in it. And I, as I mentioned earlier, we press, we make the effort, we run after the goal, the markers, the indicators for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And as we mature in God's written and revealed word, we see why we mess for, we, we, why we press forward, because God is good. I like what Psalms 34 and verse 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. It's 
says, taste and see, learn and find out. Yeah, learn and find out that the Lord is good. The more you spend time with God, the better you're going to see he is. And then you'll learn how to trust him. You have more confidence, more trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We begin to see more of the benefits and blessing, blessing of investing time in gaining understanding and insight from God. We learn more about the Lord, which will cause our mindset to move forward. You want to move forward because you're tasting and seeing that the Lord is good. And the Lord is so good to us. He is so wonderful to us. He's better to us than we deserve. But I'm so grateful for that. And when we know that the Lord is good, I like what Mark 8 and 36 says, for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? See, what will it profit a man if he gains or acquires the whole world but loses his soul, his mind, and his heart? What, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world. See, therefore, my mindset must be that I'm moving forward in the will of God. I like what Luke 9 and 62 says, but Jesus said to said to him, no one having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. No one having put his hand to the plow and looking back or turning a false and direction back, 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 back. But God says, continue to move forward in the will of God. Continue to move forward in my will and my way. And then when you do, you're fit for the kingdom of God. You're useful for the kingdom of God. God can use you to pray for somebody. God can use you to give. God can use you, amen, to do his will here on there. Not my will, but your will be done. And, and then when we do that, we have that mindset. We're going to move forward. We're going to accomplish the will of God. And I, I want to answer for all of us. Our mindset is ready to move forward. Our mindset is ready to move forward. Why? To accomplish the will of God here on the earth. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we're so grateful for your word today, so grateful for your promises, so grateful for a mindset to move forward. So in turn, we can fulfill the calling of God for our lives. And we pray and we come against the enemy that will try to stop us from moving forward, wants us to hold us back. But I believe there are believers out there that want to do the will of God. They want to achieve what God has put in their life. And I believe we have that mindset now to move forward. And I thank you, God, for allowing us to be in the will of God. We love you, Father. Give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Well, again, my name is Richard Dobbs. I'm pastor of Overcomers Christian Center. Thank you so much for allowing us to come to wherever you are to share the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Until next time, remember, without division, the people perish.